rivers in their lower reaches follow meandering path because of gentle slope and high amount of sediment load and high water discharge the rivers follow meandering path and it is also natural that meanders erode their sites due to the lateral erosion meanders change their course due to their change the cultural landscapes largely developed in the plain area like farm scape village scape town scape wire scape pipe scape all these are damaged agricultural land and vegetation also that's why the people there and the government there are concerned with this suppose this is a meander and in this meander the direction of flow or stream is this that's why this side of meander is being eroded laterally with the result the landscapes here may be railway track road town cities village these are subject to erosion that's why the government here plans dike and here the same is position here where this bank is being eroded and here bluffs are formed here also bluff here also bluff means steep scarp of sedimentary soft structure which continuously recede back due to down cutting of the river that's why dikes and spurs are very important terms in geography that's why today heading is projects to protect from river erosion river erosion means lateral erosion there are two terms dike and spur these two are natural terms in geomorphology but these have recently been used in the control of the river lateral erosion that's why these have two meanings the first meaning of dike in volcanology is it is a landfall landfall developed in a fissure in case there is a long narrow fissure or rift developed on the earth crust and it extends up to asthenosphere the magma from asthenosphere comes up and fills this fissure this deposit of igneous granite rock having a steep wall shape is called dike suppose some powerful man takes this dike away from that fissure and keeps it up do you feel that the magma below that fracture will be seen no because as the dike will be uprooted the magma from asthenosphere will immediately come up and fill that fissure and again a new dike will be formed now think about the first dike which has been uprooted from the fissure by the man that man will be requested to put that wall like long natural structure along here this bank where river is eroding its lateral bank and here there is a bluff that is receding back and there is danger of destruction of the cultural landscape here it means that natural dike has been put here it means dike has two meanings one in volcanology that you have studied second dike along the river bank where bluffs are there or say rivers are doing lateral erosion so dike in human geography is a long wall made up of concrete structure brick iron and cement its aim is to protect the area land from the lateral erosion of steam thus 
डाई के जा कंक्रीट वाल कंस्ट्रक्टेड एलांग इरोजन प्रोन रिवर बैंक नाउ इफ देर इज क्वेश्चन दैट यू राइट फिफ्टी वर्ड्स ऑन डाइक डाइक हैज टू मीनिंग्स वन नेचुरल इन वाल पेनोलॉजी सेकेंड माइन इंड्यूस्ड हियर टू कंट्रोल द लेटरल इरोजन बाय द रिवर विच वन यू विल राइट हियर यू हैव टू अप्लाई कॉमन सेंस द फर्स्ट वन इन वाल पेनोलॉजी इज अ प्योर नेचुरल साइंस वाइल दिस डाइक हैज अप्लाइड एस्पेक्ट इट इज अप्लाइड जीवन ऑफ हाल जी एंड इन न्यूज इन मीडिया दिस डाइक इज लार्जली यूज डिस्कस्ड एंड प्रोजेक्ट्स आर पॉपुलराइज दैट्स वाई यूजिंग योर कॉमन सेंस ऑल दो यू शुड नो डाइक इन वालकनोलॉजी बट यू हैव टू राइट दिस डाइक इन योर आंसर द सेम इज द टर्म इस पर इस पर हैज टू मीनिंग वन नेचुरल द अदर माइंड मेड इन नेचर इफ यू वॉन्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड द मीनिंग ऑफ इस पर इन वर्ल्ड यू विल हैव टू रीच एट अ मीटिंग पॉइंट ऑफ अ प्लेटो एंड अ प्लेन फॉर एग्जाम्पल द नदर्न मार्जिन ऑफ इंडियन प्लेटो एंड द साउथ पार्ट ऑफ गंगटिक प्लेन द रिवर्स फ्लोइंग फ्रॉम प्लेटो लाइक चंबल बेतवा केन एंड देयर ट्रिब्यूटरीज ड्रेन फ्रॉम ओवर प्लेटो लैंड एंड फॉल ओवर द साउथ मार्जिन ऑफ गंगटिक प्लेन दस दो रिवर्स कट डीप वैलीज एलॉन्ग द नदर मार्जिन ऑफ पेनिनसुलर प्लेटो एंड द एरिया विच हैज नॉट बीन कट बाय द रिवर्स एज हेडलैंड इट प्रोजेक्ट्स टूवर्ड्स द प्लेन दैट इज कॉल्ड इस्पर नाउ कंसेप्ट ऑफ इस्पर इज क्लियर कैन यू आंसर इफ यू हैव टू ट्रेवल फ्रॉम गंगटिक प्लेन टू ओवर पेनिनसुलर प्लेटो यू विल ट्रेवल ऑन फूट एलॉन्ग द रिवर वैली आर थ्रू इस्पर्स सो इट इज ईजी टू ट्रेवल एंड रीच द प्लेटो एलॉन्ग रिवर वैली बिकॉज रिवर्स हैव डिपेंड एंड ग्रेडेड देयर वैलीज दस द क्लाइंबिंग इज ईजियर कंट्रेटरी टू द इस्पर्स नदर्न स्कॉर्प्स हैज स्टीप स्लोप एंड इट इज डिफिकल्ट फॉर वन टू क्लाइंब अप ऑन दैट सो आफ्टर अंडरस्टैंडिंग नेचुरल स्पर नाउ लेटस कम टू माइन मेड स्पर दीज आर द माइन मेड स्पर सपोज दिस इज प्लेटो लैंड एंड दिस इज अ लो लाइंग रिवर वैली एंड हियर दीज आर द कॉन्क्रीट स्ट्रक्चर्स मेड अप ऑफ आयरन ब्रिक्स सीमेंट एंड दीज आर नॉट कंटिन्यूअस जस्ट टू सेव मनी हियर कंटिन्यूअस वॉल्स रिक्वायर मच इन्वेस्टमेंट वाइल इन दिस इन्वेस्टमेंट इज बींग सेव्ड सो दीज आर पिलर लाइफ इस पर्स एंड दीज ऑल्सो डू द सेम वर्क एज नियरली दिस डाइक इज डूइंग बिकॉज द फ्लो ऑफ रिवर विल बी कंट्रोल्ड बाय दीज कॉन्क्रीट स्ट्रक्चर्स बट समाइम्स द फ्लोइंग रिवर रीचेस बिटवीन द टू स्पर्स एंड मेक्स एडीज आर वर्टेक्स देयर आर वर्ल्ड पूल्स देयर विच मूव टूवर्ड्स द लैंड एंड कैन इरोड विद द रिजल्ट समटाइम दीज स्पर्स आर आइसोलेटेड एंड रिवर्स स्टार्ट इरोडिंग हियर सो हियर इफ मनी इज सेव्ड देयर इज रिस्क ऑफ इरोजन एंड हियर मनी इन्वेस्टेड नो रिस्क ऑफ इरोजन so this is dike and this is ispar so there is one question if here there is one town and here there is one village which one should be given priority for protection so if here town is there then town protection work will be given priority if village is there 
that will be given second priority. That's why there are a number of town protection works all over the world and in India because most of the settlements are in the lower part or say flood plain of the rivers. Secondly, all the towns have been located along a river and these days rivers are subject to siltation, flood and they are changing their course. That's why most of the settlements, especially towns, are erosion prone and flood prone. That's why they are given priority by the government for erosion purposes. Example is Debrugar Town Protection Work. I think you are aware of the city Debrugar in Assam on the bank of Brahmaputra. Now, let us study its history. After 1950, there was an earthquake and after that earthquake, Debrugar town was being rapidly eroded by river Brahmaputra. So people in Debrugar, Assam and Delhi were concerned with it. That's why DTP program was there, Debrugar town protection work program. That DTP proposed construction of a dike because suppose Debrugar is here and this DTP dike was constructed in 1954 and 55. Its length was 8.5 kilometer and later on in 2017 it was reconstructed by FREMA. What is FREMA? FREMA is also an agency, flood and river erosion management agency of Assam. This agency was formed just to control erosion by that river Brahmaputra because river Brahmaputra frequently causes flood and lateral erosion. That's why this agency aims at to control flood and erosion by that river Brahmaputra. Frema's effort was successful with the result 32,418 hectare area was being protected and 1.5 lakh population also protected. So this is the story of Debrugar town protection work. Likewise, a number of towns have been protected in India and all over the world by the construction of dike and spur. There are other examples like about 205 town protection works completed in India up to 1973. Data is old. It should be renewed. At present, more than 1000 have been protected. Second is Jalpaiguri town is located in West Bengal and that is situated along the bank of river Tista and Tista also causes flood and lateral erosion. That's why on Tista Jalpaiguri town protection work has been completed. Next is protection work against erosion by Ganga near Mansi. Mansi is a railway station between Barauni and Katihar rail line in Bihar and the position of Mansi is somewhere here. Suppose this is a rail track and passengers are moving freely. Passengers are enjoying their journey but they are unaware that this river Ganga is making lateral erosion undercutting and here the bluffs are falling continuously and this bank is shifting means meander is proceeding towards Mansi railway station and the days of Mansi railway station are nearly counted. That's why 
worried with this uh, problem or this natural hazard the railway department and central government of india planned construction of dike near mansi railway station and this is also very important project next is bagmati management project river bagmati uh, originates in nepal and joins river koshi in bihar and as you know that koshi is a river causing frequent flood in which this bagmati contributes a lot that's why to control the flood and erosion by koshi this bagmati has also been managed with this respect and embankments spurs dikes have been constructed on this bagmati likewise as we have discussed that this koshi also causes flood in its lower reaches before the confluence with ganga and causes lateral erosion and data reveals that during recent years the river koshi has shifted its course westward why it is shifting course westward we will be discussing it in indian geophysics or plate tectonics because to the west of river koshi there is a lineament line along which the eastern margin of indian plate is subsiding with the result river koshi is shifting course westward and causing a lot of damage to field cultural landscape just to control its westward movement about 246 km long embankment has been completed on the river koshi along its west bank so these are some of the example and a number of projects and plans have been prepared formulated in india all over world just to protect from the soil erosion and just to protect from river erosion and flood for which these two dikes and spurs are the important steps taken by the plants